Ladies and gentlemen, please put on your gear VR. Ladies and gentlemen, please take off your VR headsets. That's cool, no? Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the Samsung Galaxy S7 and Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. These are the devices These are the devices that come from the imagery what a phone can do and what a smartphone can be. Always on display provides useful information like the time or missed call, even when the phone is off. And it does it in a power efficient way. Thanks to our super AMOLED screen technology and unique power saving algorithm. It's smart enough to know when your phone is face down or in your pocket. That's when the screen goes dark. These beauties are water resistant, rated IP68. That means they can spend up to 30 minutes submerged in a meter and a half of water. That's right. With every new generation of the Galaxy S series, we've made significant improvements in processing speed. And these phones are no exception. The S7 CPU is about 30% more powerful than its predecessor. We also added an improved GPU, which does the heavy lifting for graphics. It's about 60% more powerful than the one the S6. And now, your phone can run fast without running hot. S7's new cooling system is built with the technology first used in rockets and satellites. There's a tube containing a liquid that vaporizes at high temperatures and then condenses at lower temperatures. Kind of like air conditioning for your phone. I mean, how cool is that? These devices are incredibly powerful, but they also require a lot of power. We know battery life is a big deal. That's why we say our phone is about to die. I mean, that's how grim it feels. 
With these devices, we broke a new ground. We engineered batteries that were incredibly large in terms of amps, but incredibly small in terms of size. Thank you. To bring the visual quality of a movie to real time, graphics this smooth and realistic will open up gaming to a larger audience than ever before. Samsung and Epic Games are committed to working together long term to advance the state of mobile gaming. Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge will hit the shelves starting March 11th, and pre-orders will begin in a matter of days. And but wait, there's more. And if in the US, Europe, or other select countries, you'll get a Gear VR as a gift when you pre-order. Three hundred and sixty. Because the real world is not in one direction. It's everywhere. All around us. Kind of like this day. We started this 360 degree journey with Project Beyond. The first true 3D 360 camera. It is our most advanced camera. And it carries our research and engineering DNA. We gave you a glimpse of it last month at CES. And over the past few days, we have taken it all over the world to big events and some beautiful places. Project Beyond is an extraordinary tool for all you professional photographers out there. But what about the rest of us? Why can't we capture those everyday moments and enjoy them with friends in much more immersive way? Now we can, with Gear 360. We designed Gear 360 to help you tell your story. To capture those fun parts of life in new ways. This is a new kind of camera. It lets us virtually travel from one place to another. So now, I really want to show you how beautiful this is. And here it is. Gear 360. Today we can capture 360 degrees of light. We can create immersive experiences that put you in the center and transport you to places you always wanted to go. This new world of Gear VR and Gear 360 is more than virtual reality. We call it other reality. And with S7 and S7 Edge at its center, we are truly redefining what a phone can do. So now how about I give you a demo of this new one? And to do so, let's once again put on the gear we are that is in front of you. But this time, let's look all around you. Left, right, up, down, behind you. We can watch a people next to you. And keep watching right until the end. Because we have got a great surprise for you today. Okay, so is everyone ready? Now let's go somewhere. I started learning how to program computers when I was 11 years old.
other day. And I still remember sitting in my middle school math class, uh, writing out code in my notebook, because I had never computer. And drawing sketches of a world where instead of just navigating uh, to 2D websites, you could transport yourself entirely uh, to a whole other place that felt you were really there in reality. And since then, I've been interested in this idea of virtual reality, and I've been waiting for the day to come when we can deliver this experience. Now today, thanks to this partnership between Samsung and Facebook, this is now possible, and that day is. And it wouldn't be possible to deliver this experience at this scale and this price without Samsung's experience and excellence in hardware and <laughs> systems, and all of Facebook's experience delivering software and, of course, with Oculus technology. In Facebook, we think about giving people richer and richer tools uh, for sharing and experiencing everything that they want in the world. You know, going back about 10 years, most of what we shared and experienced uh, was tech. And then it was photos. And now we're entering into a world where that's video. But pretty soon, we're going to live in a world uh, where everyone has the power to share and experience whole scenes as if you're just there, right there in person. You know, I think about my, my baby daughter and the way that I want to remember uh, when she takes her first steps. When I took my first steps, my parents uh, just took a pen and worked on the date the baby. Uh, my, uh, my cousin, uh, when her son took her his first steps, she took a photo of the camera. Uh, my sister, when, when her son took his first step, she took a video on her phone. But I want to capture the whole scene. So now I hope that we can take a 360 video. So that way, even if my parents and my family aren't there to experience it in person, they can feel like they're right there with us. VR is the next platform where anyone can create and experience anything that they want. Right now, VR is still mostly used for games and entertainment, but that's quickly evolving. And one day, you're going to be able to put on a headset, and that's going to change the way that you live, and work, and communicate. So, you know, imagine being able to sit in front of a campfire and hang out with your friends anytime you want, or be able to uh, watch a, a movie in a private theater uh, with your friends anytime you want. Imagine holding a group meeting or event anywhere in the world that you want. All of these things are going to be possible. And that's why Facebook is investing so much early on in virtual reality, so we can help to deliver these kinds of new social experiences. VR is going to be the most social platform. Now, that's also why we've worked with Samsung to deliver Gear VR. Gear VR is by far the best mobile VR experience. And that's because it combines the best hardware uh, from Samsung with the best VR software uh, from Facebook with Oculus. Samsung is the only company in the world that can deliver at scale uh, the low persistence OLED screens that are required uh, to give a good, comfortable VR experience. And that's because these OLED screens are the only screens uh, that can update uh, faster than your eye. No other screen display or company can deliver this experience. Samsung is the leader in designing and shipping hardware like the Gear VR quickly and affordably. And of course, we, we've used Oculus uh, software to deliver other aspects of high quality VR like head tracking, uh, really fast rendering, 360 sound, and of course the whole ecosystem of apps and content through the Oculus. Together, this is by far the best mobile VR experience that you can now, we've also worked with Samsung to make your VR affordable. Last summer, Jay Lee and I went for a walk, and we talked about how we can bring this experience to the most people possible. And after that, we decided to target a $99 price, and we worked hard to refine the hardware to make this possible. And you know, the results are in, and it's already paying off. Because this year, millions of people 
will get their hands on a Gear VR. <laughs> there are already more than 200 games and apps available for Gear VR in the Oculus Store. And here's a new stat for you. More than 1 million hours of video have already been watched in Gear VR. So we've, all, we've only just started to explore uh, what's possible with video and VR. And as we work with Samsung uh, to build this experience uh, for, for Gear VR, we're also working to push the whole state of the technology forward. So, you know, over the last year, we've been working to make Facebook uh, the best platform for 360 videos. And video is already some of the most engaging content uh, that you'll see online. There are already, every day, uh, more than 100 million hours of video content are watched on Facebook. But 360 videos are even more immersive. You know, because you aren't just watching passively. You feel like you're actually there. You're actually surfing in Tahiti, or flying with Blue Angels, or exploring the surface of Mars. Our community already loves 360 videos. And every day, already, more than uh, a million people are watching 360 videos on Facebook. More than 20,000 of them have been uploaded, and hundreds of new ones are uploaded every day. But it's still really early for 360 videos. And we're only a few years into experiencing this kind of high quality 360 content. But one day soon, all of us are going to have the power to broadcast live uh, what we're doing whenever we want, so that way our friends and families and the people we care about can experience it as if they're right there with us. But of course, to get there, we're going to have to solve a lot of really complex technology and engineering challenges. An example of an important breakthrough uh, we call dynamic streaming for VR video. The idea is that instead of delivering the whole video in a high resolution, we just focus on the part that you're looking at. And this allows us to uh, deliver the video with a much higher uh, resolution and quality, about 4x, while also reducing the overall bandwidth consumed uh, for streaming the video by about 4x. So this is just one example of how Facebook is driving all this VR software forward. And I'm excited to announce uh, that we're bringing all of this technology to Gear VR in the next few weeks. So there are lots of other challenges that we need to do to uh, solve to create great VR experiences. And Facebook, uh, with Oculus, are committed to this for the long term. We've recently created new teams at Facebook to build the next generation of social apps in VR. And there are hundreds of incredible uh, content titles coming to the Oculus Store this year, including Minecraft. And since the Oculus team joined Facebook, we put hundreds of our best engineers on this to make much faster progress than the industry would have otherwise. So we're committed to building the best VR experiences in the world. And we're excited to be focused on, on building uh, this next important computing platform that has the potential to change all of our lives and to be doing it with Samsung. The best is still to come, and we are proud to be working together on this. Thank you, and now here's DJ Co again. Ladies and gentlemen, the product experience areas are now open. Media, please head to the back of the auditorium. 
partner and Samsung, please go to the arrivals area where you will be directed upstairs.